Crypto is on the verge of revolutionizing traditional financial systems. Advocates say it has the potential to make the current financial system more efficient, accessible, and faster. In the meantime, let's pivot, look at shares of crypto exchange Coinbase, up today about two thirds of 1%, but still down sharply since the CEO went public last week with an angry response to what he sees as threats by the SEC. I, I mentioned briefly the idea of crypto, and I know you've had different views of this. A lot of people think of that as a, a, a new investment class that has had an enormous run thus far. But Kathy Wood making some big headlines on Bitcoin and some other bullish price targets. I sat down with the ARK Invest founder at the SALT conference in New York last night. Here's what she told me about Bitcoin. We're talking about decentralized finance, or DeFi, a financial system without banks, at least in the traditional sense, without a middleman executing your transactions. She was surprised the SEC had Coinbase with the Wells notice. Listen. I was shocked when I saw Wells Notice. Are you kidding? They haven't even released the product. The, like, what is this? And I think what that Wells Notice is doing, it's it's a, a call out by regulators saying, we got to discuss this stuff because this is happening very quickly. And I think we are going to bring um, courts into the system. Also as a way to mitigate, if you will, against the idea of what the value of cash becomes. Well, I think it's worth considering all the, uh, the alternatives to cash and all the alternatives to some of the financial assets. Instead, you've smart contracts or computer code that automates the process. Which is not dissimilar from, you know, the big tech platforms basically begging for regulation so that they don't end up getting crossed in the regulatory uh, issues as well. But with Coinbase, because this Wells notice has already been served, what's the worst case scenario for investors at this point? We believe that the, the price uh, will be tenfold of where it is today. So instead of 45,000, over 500,000. Confidence in Ether has gone up dramatically as we've seen the beginning of this trans uh, transition from proof of work to proof of stake. We'd still probably do 60% uh, Bitcoin, 40% Ether. I, I, I think of the worst case, you know, the, uh, people are viewing that this product that they that they had is no longer, uh, you know, at least temporarily not available. Other platforms are doing the exact same Lend product as what Coinbase proposed. Uh, Coinbase is known for being very cooperative and collaborative uh, with regulators. In fact, they communicated over uh, six months on the product. So it's, it's really, you know, I scratch my head. It's really surprising how they came to this stalemate. Decentralized finance has captured only 5% of the crypto space, but it has attracted massive growth. There is $93 billion worth of DeFi assets in the crypto market as of June 2021, up from $4 billion just three years ago. What happens to the Lend product? Because while it's in this sort of gray zone, as Coinbase itself was pointing out, everybody else is doing you know, yield products that offer far more than 4%, and Coinbase obviously stands to lose if users go and put their crypto on those platforms instead. The pace of DeFi has slowed since the summer of 2020, and regulatory scrutiny from Capitol Hill has spiked over fears of crypto's checkered past. Here's how decentralized finance works and why lawmakers and the financial establishment are keeping an eye on it. There it is, 10 times. So what are we at, 45,000 right now, 10 times? Seeing people say a million, right? Decentralized finance, or DeFi, can be described as an ecosystem of financial applications and projects built on top of blockchain technology. Most DeFi projects are built on Ethereum because it was one of the first programmable blockchains that can handle smart contracts. Most DeFi protocols are governed by their own communities or what's known as a decentralized autonomous organization, DAO for short. Only the members who've invested in an individual project's token get to vote on the protocol's future. It removes the control from one person. The crypto industry was born in reaction to the 2008 financial crisis. DeFi's goals stem from that and give users control and visibility of their own money without a third party. During the summer of 2020, interest in decentralized finance began picking up. The total value locked in the space grew from $7.8 billion on June 20, 2020 to $19.4 billion on September 21, 2020. The total value locked is a metric used to assess how much crypto is committed to a smart contract of a project. Most DeFi projects or protocols can be categorized into four main buckets, decentralized exchanges, lending platforms, asset management, and derivatives. 
decentralized exchanges and lending platforms were the areas that grew the most during DeFi summer, so we're going to highlight those. Decentralized exchanges, or DEXs, are cryptocurrency exchanges that allow users to trade without giving control of their funds to an intermediary. One of the leading DEXs is Uniswap, an automated market maker protocol built on Ethereum that has risen due to its liquidity offerings. The developer of Uniswap, Uniswap Labs, is currently under investigation by the Securities and Exchange Commission. Decentralized finance allows anyone to borrow and lend cryptocurrency. Users can earn interest when they loan their assets. They can also borrow other cryptocurrencies by using their current funds as collateral. Stani Kolechov is the founder of Aave, one of the first and leading DeFi lending protocols. Cryptographic assets these days can be Ethereum, so-called stable coins. Aave protocol allows actually to supply these kind of assets into the protocol, and then there are other participants that are taking those funds out of the protocol against a collateral, which means that it generates yield for the suppliers. It's a place where you can grow your cryptographic assets in the form of interest yield. Decentralized finance is like the electric car in the automobile industry. So, you know, everyone kind of knows that that's the future, but car companies will still make cars. They will just make electric cars, cars instead. Regulatory concerns, though, continue to hang over the entire cryptocurrency industry and could stunt DeFi's growth. DeFi comes with a huge risk because of the lack of regulation. Investors and users have no protection or insurance if they lose their cryptocurrency in a protocol or through loaning assets to another user. The risk is well known, but with the huge risk comes huge gains. For traders, the crypto markets remain volatile. In March 2020, a sudden 30% price drop in Ether triggered chaos in the DeFi space. Some investors lost all their collaterals in protocols like MakerDAO. MakerDAO, once considered the DeFi poster child, has been blamed for not fully representing the risk to investors. Rune Christensen, the co-founder of MakerDAO, says the protocol had been prepared for this event and was able to recover from the event, but it was a case that the system hadn't seen before. It wasn't a disaster, but the Maker protocol and the whole space was able to, to recover from it. I mean, pretty much instantly. Afterwards, the maker protocol and the community, they then just like were able to analyze the situation and then make a whole bunch of adjustments and upgrades to, to um, you know, deal with future situations like that. DeFi summer didn't fix these issues and arguably has led to the rise of gambling protocols in some parts of the space. Still, optimists in the space say MakerDAO's rebound proves DeFi's strength and room to improve. You can really see the sort of evolutionary potential of decentralized uh, organizations because anytime there is a like loss of defeat, I guess you can say, becomes a really important learning opportunity to then overcome that problem and, and create resilience. It will be some time before DeFi can be used in the real world and becomes a household name. But as the crypto space grows, investors are going to continue holding on. So that would be There's 20. your number. Yeah. I mean, I've seen a million. Possibly. Oh no, there's a lot. There's people who believe a million, but her base case, I should say, by the way, this is what her the five year. Five, her yeah. five year outlook. It's five years from now. Five years from now. And, and her, her point with that, the basis is that because you're going to have so many companies that are using it right. and, and kind of adapt. Her, adopting her it. premise is that there's going to be a lot of companies that are going to put it on their balance sheet. There's going to be other people who are going to use it. Uh, there are going to be countries that are going to use it. And that that's what's going to uh, effectively generate the demand that would get the price right. at a 10 times more. Oh, 21 million.